Hi friends, in this video we will talk about the different MCQs, 20 MCQs of agronomy and uh, we will discuss here. So let's start one by one. The first MCQ is saying that the depth of sowing of Bajra is. What is the depth of sowing of Bajra? So dear friend, the right answer from here is 1 to 2 cm. And uh, Bajra is you know the drought resistant crop and uh, it is advisable to sow this seed at a shallow depth. So always remember that one to two centimeters are ideal for the bajra. And if you see the about the bajra, it is known as the pearl millet. That's the commonly known as the pearl millet, and uh, botanically it is known as a penicetum glaucum. And uh, you can see this is the grain of bajra, and uh, commonly is called. Um, Bajra ke naam se jante hain, as a local and this is the plant of the Gramini family so this was the little bit of the background behind the Bajra now the second question we will discuss here is the, which is generally used to correct the soil HDT so dear friend the, here the options are given like the gypsum lime iron pyrites both A and B so our right answer would be the lime here we can see the lime are the two type one is known as the quick lime when it is hydrated with water means when we added water then it become the slack lime and these two limes are useful for the slack lime sometime and uh, quick lime we can also use for the correcting the acidity of the soil and how it happen because this calcium uh, will neutralize the ph of soil now the third question we will discuss about the main objective of growing catch crop so here options are given we can choose the first option saying that uh, add more residue to the soil this is wrong and uh, prevent prevent cracking up the soil this is also wrong support uh, suppress weed this is also wrong right answer is the d get additional income without further investment you know the catch crop is the fast growing crop and if suppose you are delayed by the some of the natural calamities or sometimes uh, you are not able to grow the seed because of some of the not favorable condition you got in your field so you can go for the catch crop and uh, generally you can see here the some of the example very good example are given like a catch crop is a fast growing crop that is grown between successive planting of main crop okay so radish is the one of the very good example you can take uh, within 25 to 30 days so catch crop is a, uh, you can also say that the catch crop is a type of successive planting means uh, and it make more efficient use of the growing space uh, catch crop uh, one uh, characteristics is that it is a uh, very short growing and uh, actually we want to take the advantage of the uh, space uh, because uh, suppose sometime what happen we are having uh, a space for a short period of the time and uh, we want to grow some crop so n number of the crops as I told you the short growing crops are available and here I have given the example of the radish you can take uh, in the period of that after the main crops if suppose you have taken and sometime what happen suppose you have grown the some crop sub crop you grown because of some unfavorable condition you finished your crop the main crop finished now uh, you are having the space unutilized unutilized land now what you want you want to grow some alternative so you may choose the some of the short growing crops and you can grow so that's why you cannot uh, um, lose the income because uh, when you will not grow any crop then definitely you will lose the income because your space will be available unutilized so in that meantime you can use some of the start growing crop as a catch crop so this is the one of the advantages associated with the catch crop now the fourth mcq we will discuss here the bio rate content in urea should not exceed according to fertilizer control order 1957 so here options are given 1 1.5 2 and 2.5 so our right answer is 1.5 actually if we see the bio rate actually a bio rate forms during the manufacturing process of the urea when we manufacture the urea what happened when high heat is happened during the manufacturing of the urea 
and when heat exceeded uh, the temperature of 200 degree Fahrenheit, there is a slight conversion of urea to biodate. But this takes place only during the manufacturing process. You always remember it is happened only during the manufacturing process and it is only when the your temperature exceeded. So you know this is the formula of the urea and you can see when uh, heat or temperature increase then it forms the biodate plus ammonia. Okay. Now we will discuss about the fifth question. Burnt farmer is used for making. So here options are given like the furrow, raise, soil smooth, all of the above. So here uh, our right answer would be B, ridge and burnt making. So here we can see this is the burnt farmer. So you can make a ridge or burnt. Now the six MCQ we will discuss here. The force of attraction bind the molecules of the same kind, same kind of the molecules when they will bind. So what the force we will uh, call here the options are given like the addition, matrix force and cohesion and none of these. So our right answer is cohesion. When the similar kind of the molecules they form, they attract each other. So that force is called cohesion force and if uh, different type of the molecules bind different kind of means water when you water will uh, bind with the soil particle so that forces is called addition forces now the seventh number of the mcq we will discuss here the upper limit of the soil moisture available for the plant growth and uh, the options are given like permanent building point field capacity hygroscopic coefficient and matrix suction so our right answer is field capacity. Always remember that field capacity is also known as 100% of available moisture. Always remember. So this is the upper capacity of you can say the upper limit of soil moisture available to the plant. When the field got the field capacity at that time we can say that the soil is having the upper limit of soil water availability soil moisture availability now the eighth mcq will discuss here the device for measuring percolation and leaching losses from a column of soil under controlled condition is known as usko kya bolte hain so options are given like the infiltrometer psychometer evaporimeter but these are all the wrong right is lysimeter lysimeter you know the or, uh, we can use for measuring the percolation leaching losses uh, from a column of the soil and this is very useful for the field experimental to know the ET losses from a field within the field if you uh, establish install the lysimeter in the field and uh, you can use lysimeter for the measuring the percolation losses as well as the leaching losses even even ET you can also calculate so here we, you can see this how the lysimeter are installed here one of the weighing machine So above that, this is the uh, soil column we maintain. This is the soil column, and this is your natural field condition. And the soil of this natural and uh, this soil column, those are filled here, will be the similar, same. Okay, and we installed the lysimeter here, and uh, we will grow the crop both here also and here also. And we will do the same practice both uh, in this area and in this area also. So by uh, growing this you can calculate what amount of the water you have added and how much it gone as a part of the leaching and how much it gone for the percolation and how much uh, it got evaporated okay and how much it transpired. So these all are the under the controlled condition, you know, under controlled condition and this is the soil column. So always remember that lysimeter is the very useful for the calculating the your percolation leaching losses in a controlled condition. Now we will discuss here the ninth question. 
A calibrated device for measuring the flow of water in open conduit is known as means open ch channel if you want to measure the flow rate okay so which one is a useful so here are given water meter this is not and none of these is this is also wrong and we know is also wrong your right answer is the parcel flow Parcel flume, you know, this is such like a structure that are available in like this. Sometimes it is a cutthroat type. And uh, some may be the with throat. So this is like uh, this structure. So water will come here and this is the throat area. okay and uh, this is the calibrated and you can put in a open channel suppose the water is coming from this side you can put in this channel and uh, as i told you that this is the calibrated device so you can measure the flow rate from the open channel now the 10th ten question we will discuss the instrument used for measuring the depth of water table is known as so lysimeter is wrong odometer this is also wrong Evaporimeter, this is also wrong. Your right answer is piezometer. So, with the help of piezometer, you can even see here this is the piezometer, and you can uh, make a hole in the groundwater ground. And you have to install the piezometer like this. This is the piezometer tip. So, with this, with the help of these tips, you may generate some vibration and some of the sound effect like that. So, their principle might be some. Uh, some there might be some of the principle i will not discuss that principle here what are the but like this is the instrument you have to install in the field so that you can measure the water table depth so always remember that the piezometer is used for the uh, water table depth measurement now the questions we will discuss here the seed rate for a hybrid maze for the hybrid maze you know what are the seed rates so the right answer is 22-25 kg per hectare that is required for the hybrid and now 12th mcq will discuss here the vertical name of the ragi is so the options are given like lucian corcana echinocloa fermentacea panicum meliaceum and none of this so our right answer is the lucian corcana and uh, you know the ragi is known as also Kodo in Nepal and this is the crop you can see uh, this is the crop of the Kodo Ragi you can say this is also known as finger millet Illusion Korokana finger millet also known as Ragi in India and Kodo in Nepal and is an annual herbaceous plant widely grown as a seed crop in arid and semi in arid areas in Africa and Asia so this is the uh, very marginal crop and unutilized crop now the peoples are not growing but previously the peoples those are living in arid and semi-arid area they prefer to grow it as a cereal and this is very nutritious nutritional point of the view this is very nutritious now we'll discuss here about the oil and protein content of groundnut so what is the right answer you know this uh, groundnut is the oil seed crop okay it is grown especially for the oil seed purpose and this is one you have been know very fortunate that we are having 40 percent 45 percent 40 to 45 percent kya hota is me oil and this is also 26 percent of ye protein so this is the right answer and uh, just to reverse of this if you talk about the soybean so in the soybean case there would be 26 percent they are 25 percent you can say is the oil sorry oil and 45 percent of jo hota hai, that will be the protein so for the you know the protein bodybuilding purpose the soybean is the most preferred and now this peoples are making the soya uh, milk also so always remember that the groundnut and so i have been having a just opposite of that these two constituent oil seed is very high in the case of groundnut and protein content is very high in the case of soya bean the 15th mcq is saying that raising a crop with the least operation is called 
लिस्ट ऑपरेशन की बात कर रहा है तो लिस्ट ऑपरेशन मीन्स यू नीड टू डू द सम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन बट दैट शुड बी अ वेरी मिनिमम सो जीरो टिलेज इज रॉन्ग नो टिलेज इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग हैवी टिलेज इज ऑल रॉन्ग ऑप्शन वी इज द राइट मिनिमम टिलेज वी नीड टू से दैट वेन वेन एवर द क्वेश्चन आज द लिस्ट ऑपरेशन लिस्ट ऑपरेशन में मीन्स मीन्स यू नीड टू ऑपरेट वेरी लिटिल लेस दैन फ्यू सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द सॉयल यू नीड टू डू द सम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन टिल टिलिंग ऑपरेशन मिनिमली यू आर डूइंग द टिलिंग ऑपरेशन तो दैट टिलेज इज नोन एज मिनिमम टिलेज नाउ सिक्सटीन एम सी क्यू सेंग दैट विच टाइप ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर इन इंडिया इज फुल्ली डिपेंड ऑन द इम्पोर्ट इम्पोर्ट ऑफ विच टाइप ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर वी आर टोटली इम्पोर्टिंग नॉट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन इंडिया सो द राइट आंसर इज के फर्टिलाइजर मीन्स पोटासिक फर्टिलाइजर वी आर टोटली डिपेंड ऑन द फॉरन कंट्री वी आर नॉट मैनुफैक्चरिंग इन आवर कंट्री ओके विच ऑफ द सेवन एम सी क्यू सेंग दैट विच इज द लीडिंग स्टेट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द ग्राउंड नट सो राइट आंसर इज गुजरात यू नो द गुजरात इज द लीडिंग स्टेट वे आर द ग्राउंड नट प्रोडक्शन इज वेरी हाई नाउ एटीन क्वेश्चन इज सेंग द रिमोट सेंसिंग हेल्प इन द स्टडिंग हाउ द रिमोट सेंसिंग विल हेल्प Uh, as crop area calculation, soil characteristics estimation, underground water estimation, and D is the all of the above. So our right answer would be D. This all information you can get from remote sensing. A remote sensing is just a tool that uh, that will be uh, situated apart from the object. Suppose this is the land. and you want to get the information of this land that through the satellite you can take through the sum of the object that will not touch the body but you can take the information and that information will go to the computer system and from the computer you can analyze the data and you can estimate the exactly what is the crop area what is the soil characteristics and what is the ground water level so you can uh, know so this is the advantage of uh, remote sensing and nowadays the many uh, researchers are using this remote sensing for the estimation of this uh, different parameters now this is 19 question uh, sunflower act as a indicator plant to the diagnose the deficiency of for which uh, deficiency we can use for sunflower as a indicator plant so here the options are given like boron iron nitrogen phosphorus so these are the wrong 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 and right is the boron always remember that boron uh, are indicated by sunflower very efficiently that's why we use sunflower as a indicator plant for the boron deficiency diagnosis now last question 20th is the which of the following element is not considered as a fertilizer nutrient not considered as a fertilizer nutrient so answers uh, options are given like carbon sulfur nitrogen zinc so which one is the right according to the this question the right is the carbon carbon we uh, haven't apply as a source of fertilizer you uh, you haven't seen anywhere that carbon is applied as a fertilizer but you might have been seen that the sulfur are applied as a, as a like pyrite pyrite is the source here the iron and sulfur you will get even in the gypsum also gypsum also you may uh, even you will apply you will get the sulfur and nitrogen you know the uv apply as a urea is the fertilizer zinc sulfate hmm. so we can uh, apply this uh, uh, nutrient as a fertilizer but uh, carbon the plants take from the atmosphere so this is not a fertilizer nutrient this new this uh, plant take this one from the atmosphere as a carbon dioxide is available in the atmosphere so that get from that so as per this questions the right answer is the c carbon is not a fertilizer nutrient so hope uh, you enjoy this video how was this video you may comment here and uh, you may like it and uh, if you are new viewer you may subscribe my channel for like this video and more than 600 videos are related to the agriculture are available here and definitely if you you will watch that videos that will change your life